I am Plamen and you are with Project How To. Today I will let you know what for me is the easiest way to burn fat or simply stay fit and why you should do cardio regardless of your goals. First, everyone watching this video has a cardiovascular system. Yes, your dog and your cat too, probably my most loyal viewers. Let's first answer the question, what is the cardiovascular system? And then, why do we need to train it? Your heart works as a pump that pushes the blood to the organs, tissues and cells of your body. Blood delivers oxygen and nutrients to every cell and removes the carbon dioxide and waste products made by those cells. Cells are the basic structures of all living organisms. Cells provide structure for the body, take in nutrients from the food and carry out important functions. Okay, now we can conclude the cardiovascular system is pretty important and we need to make sure it functions properly. One way to help that is by putting the correct fuel, but that would be a topic to another video. What I will focus on today is how we can contribute to the health of our cardiovascular system by training. After that very summarized and basic intro of the cardiovascular system, you know where the term cardio that circulates the gym world comes from. Yes, correct. Cardio stands for cardiovascular exercises. There are many types of exercises that can train your cardiovascular system. And depending on what your goal is, one will be better than the other. But how exactly cardiovascular exercises work? Well, it is very simple. To be in a state where you train your cardio, you need to keep your heart rate up for any extended period. Few examples of cardiovascular activities. Running, rowing, jogging, swimming, cycling and walking. Now, before I let you know which one is the best, let me know which one is your favorite. What do I mean by best? For me, best should positively contribute to something for a long period of time. If I relate that to cardio, I'll ask you something. How long can you run for? Or swim? Or even row? Well, I personally wouldn't enjoy doing any of those for an extended period of time. So to me, that will not contribute to my cardio health as I won't be able to adhere to it. I would personally go for an hour or two for a brisk walk every day. And once a week, I will do 30 minutes intense cardio combined with my daily resistance training. If I'm limited on time, well, instead of going to the store with a car and having to go out for a walk later, I would just go with my girlfriend, walking to the store, and that is one hour walking. And maybe from now on, before you're about to make that trip to work, to the store or elsewhere, always consider the option to go by foot first and if there is something that stops you, then consider the other means of transport. The answer to what would be the best cardio work for you? The form of cardio that you can do and you will not be getting bored of. The one that you can adopt will fit your daily schedule and not feel like a burden. That was for me for today and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!